Why are there so many different types of machetes? I'll tell you. They all have agricultural and utility uses, but there are specialities. The bolo has a substantial front end, so it's good for chopping through heavier, woody vegetation and a number of different crops. The cookery is not specialized in crops, but it is a really good utility blade. The parang also specializes in woody material, but it's thin, so it's less likely to get stuck in said material. The panga also has a thick blade for dealing with moderately heavy vegetation, and it also has that spike on the end, which you can use to concentrate a lot of force if you need to pierce anything. The bowie machete combines the general usefulness of a machete with a knife that's designed for hunting, and the tip here is good for skinning and preparing game. The cane machete has a thin but thick blade that's ideal for slicing through. The Golok has a thin blade that's good for getting through woody material without getting stuck, and it also has that curved hilt so it doesn't slip out of your hands. The Topanga machete is probably the least specialized machete, instead focusing on being decent at a decent number of things. The Latin machete is also a generalist, however it focuses a bit more on green vegetation. The barong sees a lot of use in hunting and tending to livestock. The heavy machete specializes in essentially being an axe and good for heavy woody vegetation. The billhook is good for cutting around vegetation such as grapevines, shrubs, or bushes.